Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about your iPhone and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I've been getting a lot recently on my other video and that is how do you translate a web page on your iPhone with Chrome? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, this is going to be a really quick video. There's really not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video. But why would you want to translate a web page on your iPhone using Chrome? Well, that's pretty easy. Maybe you're doing some work on one of your blogs and you want to see what it looks like after it's been translated translated on Chrome using an iPhone. Whatever the case is, is a pretty easy process and it's handled here in the Chrome app. I've already opened up my Chrome browser and I've logged in and I am now on this website, the msn.com homepage. Now, in order to translate a web page on your iPhone using Chrome, there's actually two different ways. The first way on the most recent update for Google Chrome, you're going to see the Google Translate button here on the top left. If you don't see that, you need to download the Google Translate app onto your iPhone. Go back and watch my other video that describes that process in detail. However, if you have it already installed and you're on your Google Chrome, you can go ahead and just click right here on the top left. Once you do that, you can choose how you want to translate. So we're going to translate from Spanish into English since this web page, as you can see, is written in Spanish. So let me go ahead and click on it and then translate. And then you're going to see this pop up page translated. So you can see everything is now in English. Now, the thing is when you use translate on your Google Chrome using your iPhone, most of the time it will translate automatically. However, there are some words that will not translate directly. Also, depending on how the web page is set up, some of the portions will not translate but it will at least give you a good idea of what's going on with your web page. So the second way you can go ahead and translate a web page in Chrome on your iPhone is by clicking on these three little dots here on the bottom right. Once you do that, you're going to see this pop up. And in order to translate this web page, just scroll down until you see this button here called translate. Once you do that, you're going to see this pop up and then same thing. It's going to translate the web page for you. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how to translate a web page on your iPhone using Google Chrome, that is the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.